the watch commander. Hey, it's Susan. Welcome to today's episode of War Crimes Unit. Nice to see ya. Don't forget to get a damsel in defense stun gun. 7.5 million volts could save your life one day. It saved mine. You can find one at the I Sue's Home Shopping Mall on Facebook, and Damsel in Defense will ship it directly to you. Suze is spelled S U Z. Oh my gosh, Watch Commander. Oh, I learned that word yesterday from the LA County Sheriff's Department. Watch Commander. You know what a Watch Commander is? Apparently, that is somebody within a police department that uh, is in a like an administrative kind of supervisory position that takes complaints or concerns from the public when an officer doesn't do things uh, perhaps as they should. So, um, I you see, here's, oh my God, shit kept freaking happening yesterday. I mean, it was horrible. I mean, when, when I got jolted by that officer, that officer Hernandez with the Culver City Police Department, God, that was horrible. I thought, oh, he was such a damn ass. I mean, it was unreal. See, when a police department doesn't take a report, that's a big red flag for me. Ding, 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 ding. Oh my God, dude, no, hella, hella damn bad. You see, one of my taxi drivers had told me that the Culver City Police, they work on their own cases, they don't get anyone else involved, but I didn't really know exactly what that meant. Um, but I learned that term, watch commander from the LA County Sheriff's Department. Now, if you've seen some of the other videos, um, you know, uh, the LA County Sheriff's Department knows me as a victim. And, you know, I was really hoping that their Medi-Cal fraud unit would be able to, you know, put a put a big dent into this entire case. You know, if they can't do it directly on my, what happened to my son, hit it on the other end and, you know, hit it on the Medi-Cal fraud issue and then just tie my son in as a victim. You know, just out of principle is a thing. So anyway, so I called LA County Sheriff's Department because I kept having damn trouble, you know, down at this Culver City Hospital and that whole situation. You know what they told me? They said they don't have jurisdiction. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, jurisdiction? <laughs> jurisdiction. Well, like, first of all, they found it extremely strange that the police wouldn't take a report. I mean, heck, dude, LA County Sheriff's Department, they always take reports. LA County Sheriff's Office knows who my ICE agent is, one of them. And, you know, so I'm like, what the hell? I know, see, that's really heck, that's bad. So they were questioning the fact that this Culver City police officer would not take a report. And then they explained to me about what a watch commander is. I didn't call a watch commander or go to like a supervisor or something like that. But they said watch commander. I'm like, okay. And then they're telling me they don't have jurisdiction because I was just really hoping the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, they could just fix this because they're really nice to me, you know. <laughs> and I, I got all this bad law enforcement. So, so you know, I kind of had a tendency to stay with the law enforcement that are nice to me. They told me they don't have jurisdiction. I'm like, oh, my God, what do you mean you don't have jurisdiction? I'm like, this is L.A. County. Culver City is in L.A. County. I, I'm not understanding. Explain this to me. And, and so, so the, she explained that apparently since the, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department does not patrol Culver City, then they don't have jurisdiction over things that occur in Culver City. I'm like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's bad. Oh, no, see, that would be very, very easy for Culver City, be it as a government, as a city, or the people within the city, or even the police department... To be able to concoct a murder plot with this FBI CIA task force, take me out, smoke show the whole thing, and people that would know this case, such as the sheriff's department, don't have jurisdiction. I said, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, I did call this watch commander. Again, I looked it up on Culver City Police, and I did call this watch commander. He was kind of an ass to me at first. But, you know, I explained to him, I said, you know, you, I, I, I said, this is happening across the board and in every city and state that I go to. I said, you're just not seeing it because it's occurred in every other city or state. And I said, you haven't been kidnapped or raped or had your whole, you know, come home and your whole apartment's been cleaned out like I have. You know, so it took me a little bit of bitching and to get through to this watch commander. But then he put me on hold for a while and then I finally just hung up on him. You know, and, and so, I mean, I, from that point, I don't know. But, you know, I, I did go into the hospital, but then I decided afterwards, I said, you know what? I, I went into the hospital initially, but after that, I got the hell out of town. <laughs> I got the hell out of town really, really quickly. But you'll have to watch the Brotman Medical Center Hospital Scandal Part 4 to see that. 
Maybe that's tonight's episode of War Crimes Unit. Keep your stun gun or machine gun handy. There's real criminals and terrorists out there. I'll see you next time.